Hello everybody and happy Friday. Uh, tonight is our last night of the fourth week of Read Alouds during school closure. It's hard to believe that today marks the 20th day that we have been out of school due to the coronavirus pandemic. Uh, but we're having fun with our nightly Read Alouds. Uh, today is Friday, April the 10th. And, and if you're just now tuning in with us, my name is Trevor Ivey and I'm a proud educator in Sumter County in the great state of South Carolina. And like so many of my educator colleagues right here in my very own community across our state, the nation, and the world, we're being asked to step up and out of our comfort zone to completely redesign teaching and learning experiences to make them truly meaningfully engaging to our children during this very challenging time. And to that end, I have committed myself to doing a nightly read aloud uh, to redirect some sense of normalcy during this challenging time. And so each night at eight o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we engage in a family fun read aloud. And for this week, uh, we happen to be doing Easter themed read alouds because this weekend, so many of us, our neighbors uh, and folks around the world will be celebrating uh, the traditions that Easter brings. And so with that in mind, our final book uh, for week four, the 20th day of school closure, not the read alouds, is titled Happy Easter, Lil Critter. And the author of this very special book is Mercer Mayer. Let's find out what this book is gonna be about. It's Easter morning, boys and girls. And, and the little critter says, I bet the Easter bunny has already come. So I'll quietly tiptoe downstairs and find all of the Easter goodies before anyone else in the house wakes up. But as usual, my little sister is up before me and beats me to it. And she's found all of the Easter goodies, hasn't she? So what did I find to my wondering eye? I got a toy egg that you can look inside, a wind up bunny, some candy chickens, a bunch of chocolate eggs, and millions of jelly beans. The Easter bunny gave my little sister the same thing. Dad says we get the same thing so we won't argue. But mom tells me that we can't eat any of it until after breakfast. So after breakfast, boys and girls, we have to go and get dressed for church. Dad starts the car and we all pile in. Look at them all dressed up, ready to go. My little sister likes to get all dressed up, but I don't like it. At church, I can't see anything because everyone is wearing all sorts of funny hats. And after church, boys and girls, all the kids go home and they dye Easter eggs. But I think that my eggs are the very best. And while the eggs are drying, we have a big, big picnic lunch. Then our parents go out with our eggs and they hide the eggs in the field. We are not supposed to peek. And next, after they're done, we all line up. And then we get to go into the field to find the eggs. Sometimes too many kids find the same egg. And sometimes you even walk right beside an egg and someone else finds it. Sometimes, boys and girls, the little kids don't find any. So you have to be nice and help them. But by the time we all go home, everyone has had a happy, happy Easter. The end. 
So boys and girls, I saved this book for our final nightly read aloud of week four of our Easter themed read alouds because this book really does uh, illustrate many traditions that boys and girls of all ages uh, have fun with during the Easter holiday. So what are your favorite traditions during Easter? My favorite traditions during Easter are much like the ones that are in this book. Even though I am much older than the boys and girls in this book, I still like to dye Easter eggs. I still like to have Easter egg hunts. And I love to get all dressed up in your Sunday best and go to church and hear the great message from the pastor and see everyone else in their beautiful Easter clothes and have a big, big family dinner. What are your Easter traditions? Well, boys and girls, whatever your traditions are, even if you don't celebrate Easter, I hope that you have a great weekend. Many of you locally here in the Sumter area or in the state of South Carolina have spring break coming up next week. So enjoy your week off from e-learning. And above all, remember to stay safe. Remember to wash your hands and remember to be just like the little critter did during the Easter egg hunt. Be happy, be kind, spread joy to all that you meet. This is a very challenging time that we still find ourselves in and the world needs a little more kindness during these special times. So boys and girls, before you get ready for bed, go off and brush your teeth and let us engage in our nightly reflection with our four questions. You remember question number one, what was your most favorite part about today? Take a moment to share with your parent, older sibling, younger sibling, or fuzzy friend. Question number two, what was your least favorite part about today? Question number three, if you could change one thing about today, what would you change? And question number four, what is one thing that you hope will happen tomorrow? All right, boys and girls, I hope you had a great week. I know that I did with all of our amazing books that we read, Fluffy Bunny, Clifford's Happy Easter, and Tiny the South Carolina Easter Bunny. Have a great weekend. Stay safe, and we'll see you next week for our continued nightly read-alouds with Dr. Ivy. Remember, if no one's told you they love you today, Dr. Ivy is here to tell you that he loves you and he cares about you so very much. Good night.